Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with a new video and this time I want to explain something different. So, uh, to save time on the painting of the of my Imperial uh, Knights, I, what I'm doing is I will give them a base of silver and I will do it with rail can. Okay, so here you have. I will use this one, this paint uh, for mainly it's, it's sold uh, on the Bricom, on the Bricolage uh, store for painting walls on it and something like that. So I will do this because it gives quite a nice result and you will see at the end how it looks like uh, on, on the Imperial Knight. So what you can see, what you see here is I framed the Imperial Knight on black and now I'm going to apply this on top. So you have to shake it as well as any other primer or any other spray that you're using. And we are going to do like a, a very zenithal primer. Okay, so we are going to start applying. Okay, and you will see because we have the black base, it will give a very nice contrast. And it really saves time. Okay. The trick, the trick here is that I have um, put black before. Sorry for the background noise. Of course, you do this outdoors. Okay. I'm running out of the spray, so I hope it reach enough to paint the design. And you can see the Imperial Knight, I have it split in two parts. Okay, the body and the legs. The, the arms can be removed. So really it's important on these big pieces, trying to keep super assembled parts and you see the metallic is looking quite nice we need to do the side so try to do it from different angles I want to leave it quite heavy on, on silver so I want the black is just the base the prime to go over it and I have to say that it dries pretty fast And this is really, really giving a very um, interesting base to paint. But for me, the, the point is to apply fresh black to be able to have these shadows. And then the only thing is here, we need to do the legs inside. So I always use gloves when doing this. And you can see here how it looks like. Okay. So you see the silver or the metallic is done. On this guy, uh, we need to turn it. Okay. Now the paint is half dry. And then we go from the other side. There is some background noise yet uh, I have to do it of course outdoors and I'm running out of paint. So I will need to think it will, uh, will be enough to do this one. And I run out of paint. So here you see how it looks like. Um, I still need to buy an, a second can. This one is really finished and I don't think it will arrive right to give more paint. So this is a cheap way or cheap so if you want to do have airbrush. It's an alternative way to give a silver base coat uh, on your um, Imperial Knights. So this is what I want to share here: how to play with the rail cans to give rail cans, sorry, to give uh, 
uh, this um, finishing so you see you will see now let me zoom in and you see that the silver is looking quite nice smooth and it's a great base to start painting on top so that's all what I wanted to explain in this video I hope you find this video interesting and yeah and this is a, a fast tip but I think it was useful sometimes some of the easiest tips are the most useful ones and I think this one it can save you a lot of time from here we are going to do wash and so on so keep tuned to my channel because I will do some tutorials on how to paint the different parts of an imperial knight most likely will come next month I'm just preparing because uh, I will be well this month uh, maybe I'll start this month and will be uh, July ticket to go that I will do a stop for holidays uh, but here is what you see so um, a very easy way to prepare my nights for the priming okay so that's all for now as usual thanks a lot for watching and see you again later bye